One last thing we want to share with you today that you can come to Vet Art and we'll teach you how to how to throw pottery, throw sculpture on the potter's wheel. So I'm going to give you a quick demo. So this is the potter's wheel. I'm going to turn it on. And it has a little shifter here. I can make the go faster or slower. So I have a small wad of clay here, maybe about three pounds. I'm going to go ahead and get this attached to the top of the wheel head. So I'm going to get the speed going. Use a little water. Let's see if we can't center this up. So I'm pulling, pushing both my hands together at the same time and allowing that clay to move. Right? Now I'm going to press down on the clay. Get rid of some of this clay here I don't need. Right here I'm going to press down with my right hand. We use the water so the clay doesn't chew up our hands from all the sand in it. So what I'm trying to do right now is get all the clay centered, which means if there's an imaginary pool cue in the center of the uh, wheel head here, that all the clay would be piled up evenly around that. So right now I'm pushing from six o'clock away from me. So now I'm gonna use both hands pushing down as I am right now, and now I'm pushing away at the same time. Nice thing about the working with clay is that it's responsive all the time to your to whatever you happen to do with it. It's actually so responsive that I can be sitting here centering and somebody go, hey Steve, you coming to dinner? And I go, oh huh, yeah. Oh, so you can see what happens, all right? So I wanna get that centered again. I'm gonna go ahead and open right now. I'm gonna take these two fingers in my right hand. I'm gonna press down in the center of the clay. We'll go a little deeper. Now I'm going to open the bottom up. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking this right hand, the middle and index finger, and I'm curling it back towards my left hand, back towards my body. I'm going to do that again, open it up a little bit more. So right now I have on the inside here, it's opened up nice. I'm going to smooth out this bottom. Every good piece that you work on needs a good foundation. So I'm going to call her right now, getting my hands wet, three and nine o'clock, pushing in. That makes the diameter of the opening smaller. It also makes the clay to be thicker. So I'm getting ready to make a pool, what we call it, ceramics. I'm going to reach down here in my index and middle finger in my left hand, and I'm going to use my right index finger like that. I'm going to touch my hands with my, with my left thumb, pinching at the base. That clay is getting pinched, it has to go somewhere. So I just let it come up. So that's a good first pull. That's some extra clay on here I don't need. Peel some of that off. I have a little extra water on the inside I don't need and get that out of there. Coming back down at the bottom, right? Index finger. I'm using that part of my index finger, right? I'm using the sponge. Pinch it down here. Make that raise come straight up. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to collar this once. I'm use my hands like this, pushing in at the bottom and just come straight up the side wall there. You can see that my top is getting kind of a little wonky there. So I'm gonna use my needle tool. I'm gonna trim this off of here. Get rid of this extra, I don't need it there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw, smooth out that lip a little bit. Keep the lip in control, keep the rest of the piece in control. Use my right index finger again down here on the right hand side. One more pull here. The basic cylinder. I'm going to use my wooden tool. I'm going to use this angle part of my wooden tool. I'm going to trim off this extra clay down here. 
Don't need that. Cut that off. Got a little water on the inside. I'm gonna reach in and get rid of that. So the nice thing about clay is that in this state, when it's soft, it's very plastic. So I can get inside here and I'm gonna start pushing out at the bottom here. Go back down and push a little bit more. See if I can't make this opening a little bit smaller. Got some water in there I wanna get rid of. The water on the outside. I want to pinch and collar this in a little bit. And you can see how that has become a little bit smaller. I'm going to throw that in just a touch. And trim off my top again. And find my needle tool. See if I can't do one more in here. Might need to use the rib here, the metal rib the outside a little bit. Let's start right here. And the nice thing about this metal rib, it also scrapes away all that extra wet clay there. So I can also use, so that rib is shaped like this, right? So I can also use this form right here and develop this into it. So I'm looking at that. I'm feeling pretty good about myself, right? I'm going to color this in just a little bit more. Slow this down a little bit. You can see what happened to my top there. I need to trim that again, right? So if we can't follow this in a little bit more. So I can probably keep on going and probably make that completely close off, right? So now I'm going to take this. Trimming the top one more time. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of questions that we ask in ceramic, and a lot of decisions that you as a participant get to make. Okay. So maybe I don't like this foot down here. I'm going to trim off some of this stuff in the bottom here. Smooth out my lip here a little bit. So that gives me a pretty nice form, right? The nice thing about clay is, is that we can take it, because I remember I said about how it's so plastic, right? And you can really squish this thing pretty good. Let's see what happens when I do this. Not bad, huh? Come over to VetArt, we'll teach you how to do this. Have a good day.